Today I'm going to show you how to make a Kydex cheek rest using the TAC Pro cheek rest kit. The kit comes with a precision cut cheek rest blank with a smooth round edge contour that's already finished. It also includes two stainless steel bolts and two locking knobs. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to heat the Kydex place it on the stock, and then just bend it with my hand. In order to start, place the Kydex blank on the stock exactly where you want the cheek crust to be, keeping in mind that if you have a bolt action rifle, leave some space in the front for the bolt to operate. Get some painter's tape and mark the back edge the cheek rest blank and the front and this will indicate your fore aft position. Now you also have to mark the center approximately there. If you have a laminated stock all you do is follow the lamination to the front and make a mark. Now we have to do the same thing on the cheek rest blank. So we'll get a piece of tape about the length of the blank. Place it on the center. Now to Get the edge, just measure from the inside edge of the slot to the opposite side. And place a mark on the tape. Do the same thing with the other pair of slots. And transfer those marks to each edge. And use a pencil because the pencil marks will just rub off later. Peel off the tape, we don't need that. Now once I heat the Kydex, I'm going to lay it on the stock and line up the marks. So it's centered fore and aft and side to side. Heat the Kydex until it's just soft. In this case I'm using a toaster oven which usually takes about a minute. Remember not to overheat the Kydex because then it deforms and the slots get all wonky and you want them precisely positioned. The Kydex should be heated so it's just floppy. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. 15 more seconds. Okay, you want the Kydex to just floppy, just like that. Now you have to work quickly, so put the back on center and the front. Make sure you hold it in position. And now you have to hold it like this until it cools. Keep in mind that from here down, we want the Kydex straight, not curved around the stock. And that's because when it moves up and down, we don't want it to squeeze too hard on the stock. So really you're concerned with just the top and along here. Kydex tends to curl up at the edges when you do this, so just press down a bit more on the edges. Now I'm going to speed this up a little bit using compressed air.
If you don't have compressed air, you may have to hold it like this for about two or three minutes. That looks like it's hard enough to remove. Now I'll remove the tape. This stock happens to have a couple of holes already drilled from a previous installation. So I'm just going to lay the cheek rest on the stock. Put the bolts through the existing holes. You may have to cut the bolts to the correct size for your stocks. We include bolts that are two and a half inches long. When you get to this stage, simply adjust the cheek rest to where you want. Lock the knobs, and you're done.